what's up YouTube? It's ICU and today I'm going to show you guys a really cool piece of software called Dr. Phone. Specifically, we're going to be focusing on the Switch portion of this utility and basically what it does is it allows you to transfer data from one device to another. It doesn't matter whether it's an iOS device to another iOS device or something like a Samsung phone or any other Android phone to an iOS device. If you're making the switch from one mobile operating system to another, you'll be able to use this to get the vast majority of your data easily transferred over. The best part is you don't have to use anything like iTunes or Finder here on Mac. OS, you basically just connect both devices, let Dr. Phone do all of the heavy lifting by finding the data and transferring it without you having to do anything. It's all basically an automated process. And the really, really cool thing here is that it circumvents the limitations of both iTunes and Finder. What I'm going to show you guys in today's video is transferring data from one device to another while the source device, the device that we're actually using to transfer the data from is on a higher firmware than the target device. That's just not something that Apple allows because of the various downgrade limitations that they themselves have in place. Yes, you can circumvent them on your own, but this just makes it that much easier. And for this hypothetical scenario, let's say for instance, your target device, the one that you want the data on is on iOS 13.1.3 because that firmware is going to be jailbreakable at some point in the future, even on new devices due to the kernel vulnerability that exists in iOS 13.1.3 and lower. Say you have two devices, again, the target one on 13.1.3 and the one that you want the data from on iOS 13.2. It's an older device, in this case, the iPhone 10 that's supported by CheckRain, but you want the data on it on your newer device on a lower firmware. That's something that is totally doable with this utility. I mean, the use cases for this are virtually endless. It doesn't matter whether you're a systems administrator managing a multitude of devices, trying to get carbon copies of the data across all of those devices, your entire fleet, or whether you're just someone who's transferring to a new phone. I'm sure you can find a use for this utility, which is linked down below in the description. It's the very first link. And once you install it on your computer and open it, you'll be greeted with this interface, allowing you to pick from a couple of different options. In this case, because we are theoretically switching devices, we're going to click on the switch portion of the utility. And it's basically just going to ask us to connect two devices. It's going to find which devices are currently connected to your computer, but in this case, one of them is not. So what we're going to do is just plug in that iPhone 10 to our computer. And if this is the first time connecting your device to your computer, you'll be asked to trust the connection inside of Dr. Phone itself. You don't have to do anything inside of Finder or inside of iTunes. It just automatically does it and pops up with it for you. It's super convenient. So I'm going to select the other iPhone right here. Both iPhones have been selected. It's the wrong way though, because remember we want the higher firmware one to be the source data and the lower one to be the destination. So we can go ahead and click flip or we could manually select it from that drop down as I just showed you guys. And before we get into the data transfer part, I wanna show you inside of settings, general, followed by about that this one, the one that has the data is on 13.1.3 and the one that we're going back to is on 12.4. So it even works from iOS 13 back to iOS 12. Remember just transferring the data, this is not a downgrade at all. But this will serve for our theoretical scenario where one device is on iOS 13.2 and the other is on 13.1.3. The same thing applies. So. After you've connected both devices and you've trusted and authenticated the connection, Dr. Phone is going to just scan your devices for any data that it can transfer over. Really what we're concerned about in this case are the notes. I'm just going to show that for the purpose of this video just to demonstrate it, but you can see here all of the data that you can transfer over. You can select all of it if you wanna bring over everything from one device to the other, or you can specify what you wanna bring over. Like I said, in this case, we're just concerned about notes, so I'm just going to toggle notes. And I'm going to show you guys before we actually begin this process inside of the notes application on both 
that the one that is our target device has no notes at all. It just has recently deleted notes. Whereas the one on the left, our source on iOS 13.1.3 does contain a few different notes. The one that we're going to use for this purpose is just called testing. Well, it's inside of a folder called testing and the note itself says Dr. Phone switch test. So we're just going to use this as a benchmark basically to gauge whether or not it works. Spoiler alert, it definitely does, and it's easier than you might even imagine. So I'm going to click Start Transfer, and it's going to begin. If you have Find My iPhone enabled on either device, you're going to have to disable that just inside of Settings, iCloud, and you can turn it off. You can turn it back on after the transfer is complete. And speaking of complete, like how fast was that, guys? That's absolutely insane. You can see inside of the application here, it says that it successfully transferred over the five items from the source device. And I didn't speed that up at all. That was playing back at 1x speed, and the iPhone is just rebooting because, of course, it has to consolidate that data it just transferred over. So let's go ahead and unlock it now. And I'm going to go inside of notes. Remember, we had no notes previously. And now this time when we go back, it basically just refreshes the cache there. And you can see inside of testing, we now have that note that we were trying to bring over. It should be a direct copy of this one. You can see it's exactly the same. The only difference here, of course, is the changes to the notes application, where up at the top, the first line is basically the title or the header of that specific note but it's identical. And we have all other notes as well. We have the five that were on this source device. So how awesome is that, guys? The only limitation that you have is you can't actually transfer over things like blacklisted contacts. So you'll see here, when we go ahead and bring this guy into view, you can't transfer over blacklisted contacts, call logs, reminders, Safari history, or apps, but everything else is fair game. And this is so helpful when transferring from one mobile OS to the other or making a carbon copy of your device. If you happen to have two or a backup, regardless of which firmware they're on, remember that's not a limitation here, unlike with iTunes and or Finder. Now, I really hope you guys liked this video and it helped you out. Be sure to let me know down below in the comment section. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.